My name is Ari Brown, and this is my ecology presentation about the Mojave Desert. The geography and the distribution of the Mojave Desert, along with the geological composition, are very interesting. The Mojave Desert consists of metamorphic rocks derived from pre-existing sedimentary, volcanic, and igneous intrusive rocks. The oldest exposed rocks are between 1.7 billion and 2.5 billion years old. The geological composition of the Mojave Desert was formed by volcanic eruptions and deposits from the Colorado River. Climate change is affecting the CA Mojave ecosystem by altering the precipitation patterns in the desert, which impacts the amount of surface water available and the health of the plants, which the animals uh, depend on for sustenance. The climate of the Mojave Desert is a desert climate with an annual high temperature of 75 degrees and an annual low of 50 degrees. The average annual precipitation is 6.67 inches. The western climate of the Mojave Desert has cool winter temperatures as low as 8 degrees Fahrenheit and warm summers. The marine influence in the western Mojave lowers the summer temperatures so the heat is not as extreme as in the central and eastern Mojave. The majority of the rainfall in the western Mojave happens when winter storms come from the Pacific Ocean and head east. Snowfall occurs in winter. The western Mojave temperatures and rainfall support the blooming of wildflowers in the spring. The plant composition of the Mojave Desert is also incredible, as there are Joshua trees, named in Latin Yucca brevifolia hageriana, and Creosote larea tridentada, Choya, Cactaceae, and uh, Joshua trees germinate under nurse plants until the age of four. Once their limbs develop, they take over the nurse plants. Creosote has a cone shape that allows it to utilize the little rainwater it receives. Choya are part of the cacti family and use a special form of photosynthesis called CAM. It uses an alternative pathway to convert energy from the sun into food. It also utilizes mesophyll cells in the leaves to convert carbon dioxide into organic acids. This lets the choya conserve water by keeping the stomata closed during the day. Silver choya, Apuntia econocarpa, Mojave prickly pear, O. erinaceae, beaver tail cactus, O. bacillaris, and many headed barrel cactus, Echinocactus polycephalus, are endemic. Eureka Valley evening primrose, Oenthera arita urcanesis are extinct. <clears throat> the mammal and bird populations in the Mojave Desert. Uh, there are many mammals found in Mojave Deserts. These include bighorn sheep, coyotes, bats, black-tailed jackrabbits, and mountain lions. <clears throat> Some birds that are found are Lecantes thrashers, Banderas thrashers, Scots orioles, burrowing owls, and Costa's hummingbirds. These animals all have adaptations that help them survive in these hot and dry areas. The birds all have the ability to literally rise above the heat and find cooler temperatures. A lot of the birds also migrate to colder places and return to the Mojave to reproduce when temperatures drop. The jackrabbits release excess heat through their oversized ears to maintain temperature. The longhorn sheep survive because they can safely fluctuate several degrees. They also escape heat by laying in caves and under trees during the day. Finally, the bats in the Mojave Desert survive by having large hairless wings that help keep energy while flying. Two endemic species in the Mojave Desert are the Mojave ground squirrel, Spermophilus mojavenesis, and the Armogosa vole, Microtus californicus serpensis. The desert tortoise has been listed as threatened under the United States Federal uh, Endangered Species Act. <clears throat> the insect, re insect, reptile, amphibian, and fish populations in the Mojave Desert are one of the more interesting subjects uh, of the Mojave. One of the interesting insects of the Mojave is the pronuba moth, Tegetula sp. A common reptile found in the Mojave Desert is the desert tortoise. Gophurus agazizi. It used to be very common 
but it is now a protected species due to becoming threatened. The only natural occurring amphibian is the red spotted toad, Bufo punctatus. The red spotted toad has the ability to lose 40% of its body water and still survive. This is an adaptation that allows the toad to stay away from water in order to seek new habitats. The desert tortoise is able to burrow away from heat and can store water in their bladder. They can go long periods of time without eating or drinking. The pronuba moths use their dexterous jaw appendages to collect pollen from Joshua flea trowers, tree flowers, and deposit it on the female parts of each flower as the moth moves between blooms. In turn, the moths lay their eggs with its thin blade-like ovipositor on the flower's seeds. Lowland leopard frog and the Rana Yava Peinesis are two animals that are endangered in the Mojave Desert. The status and management of the habitat. The Mojave Desert is only halfway intact, with the other half highly threatened by human development. This development comes in the form of landfill plots, military operations, and urbanization. Other threats to this ecosystem include invasive species such as thistle and the mustard plant. These invasive species make it difficult for the native species to survive in their habitat because they compete for resources uh, and it creates competition. The current status and management of the Mojave Desert are protected, uh, the Mojave Desert is protected under the California Desert Protection Act which reserves certain areas for Native American usage, protecting wildlife and flora, and preserving unrivaled scenery. Protected areas include the Mojave National Park, Kirkston Range, Greenwater Range, and Sheephole Wildlife Area. Mojave National Park lies in the Southern California area off of I-15 North. Thank you very much. This has been my ecology presentation about the Mojave Desert. Have a great day. I'm a baby.